Josh, this thing is giant. It inflates all the way to the roof of this family's house. Kids in the Concord neighborhood love this Santa Claus, and people are shocked. This is actually the second time this Santa has been slashed. Well, the owners say they can see some humor in all this, but in the end, they say it's uncalled for and, frankly, a disturbing crime. It's the kind of crime that would put this guy on the naughty list. I don't hope there will be coal in that stocking. The Semcos live on Ridge Road in Concord. Every Christmas season, they blow up their 20 foot tall inflatable Santa Claus. Maybe a little tacky, but it's still, you know, a little community thing. Two days after Christmas, at 4 30 in the morning, a young man took all the joy out of their front lawn. It was all caught on camera. He walks up to the, the lawn ornament and slashes it with either a knife or some other type of cutting instrument and then walks off into the, uh, into the night. So we're all like, Santa's down. Oh my goodness, that's awful. Chris Semko and her husband did their best to piece the giant Santa back together with duct tape. Almost like a C section scar, <laughs> not to <laughs> be too graphic, but it was almost, yeah, he has a little scar on his belly. The Semkos got the footage thanks to a surveillance camera they installed this winter. It's not the first time Santa has been victimized. On Christmas Eve 2013, the Semkos say someone slashed Santa in the back. They put the camera in their tree to see if it would happen again. It's sad. I mean, there, there's some anger management out there, either against Christmas or against inflatable Santas or, or something. Semco has no idea who did it or why it happened. Police are wondering if others were vandalized. And we're also concerned because this individual is out at 4.30 in the morning wearing a headlamp and carrying a backpack. So we're worried that there might be some other things going on, and we would certainly like to identify this person. And as for next year, Semco says her kids want to get a blow-up snowman, but after this, she's not so sure. But I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, we're going to probably stay away. <laughs> Just lights. <laughs> well, it's unknown if this is the same suspect as last year, and police don't know if it was a random act. They're asking anyone with any information to contact them. As for Santa, he's been rolled up and put away for the season. His return next year is questionable. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.